how to get more out of solar charging for your power station. It's not perfectly aligned. The shadow does shift that way a bit. Now, granted, as the sun continues to roll up, it's gonna do that more, and I could just turn this panel to prevent that, but I'm getting full charge over there on my Dabson 600L. I was getting 200 watts, folks. So how, without perfect conditions, with dusty solar panels that aren't aligned very well to the sun, and the sun's got some clouds, how is it I'm getting 200 watts on a power station that maxes out at 200 watts? Well, that's what's in today's video, folks. How to get more out of solar charging for your power station. Now, the first thing that you have to consider is that your power station has very specific limits on its solar input. It will have a maximum voltage and a maximum amperage. And what I'm gonna tell you today is the most important of those two is the voltage. Do not go over the maximum voltage. Have I ever tested this theory? Yeah, I have. I didn't blow up the power station, but I had grabbed a 200 watt panel for another power station, not thinking about the maximum voltage of the solar input on that power station, which was about 30 volts, and I grabbed a 40 volt panel. Well, I just would not get any charge. So it didn't burn up the power station, and that was nice. That was a little Egrotech I had, but at the same time, it wouldn't charge it either. So I generally say don't go over the voltage. It could damage, maybe it won't. Maybe you've got good protection on that power station, but you're certainly not gonna get any charging out of it. On the amperage side, well, that's the key to this video, folks. You see, solar input amperages are based on the maximum that the power station is going to draw off of the solar panels. That's it. Now, it could also be that it's the maximum charging it's going to provide to the battery, which normally is how charge controllers are rated. But in all of my testing, I've noticed that they simply will not draw more from solar panels than that rating. So whether or not it's both, I can't say, but I will tell you I've never had them draw more off of solar, that I can recall anyway, than they are rated at. Anytime they do, they shut it down. So what does that mean? Well, it means that you can do something with your power stations called over paneling. Okay, I gotta jump in here real quick. Over paneling is the act of adding either more solar panels or bigger panels to your charge controller or power station than it's rated for. So if you have a power station that's rated at say 800 watts and you've got 500 watt panels, you put two 500 watt panels either in series or parallel depending on the power station so that you're actually feeding a thousand watts to that power station that can only take 800 watts. Okay, let's continue. Now over paneling is something I've done a video about before and I've said why I won't do it. But that was for off-grid solar and that's a different scenario in my mind in any case. In that scenario, I can add multiple charge controllers and get the maximum effect of my solar panels by simply dividing up my solar arrays based on the capabilities of my charge controllers and the type of panels that I have. But with a power station, you can't do that. You only have one charge controller, that's it. And when you only have one, if you can over panel, then go for it. And here's why. This little power station is rated at 200 watts maximum solar input, but I have a 400 watt solar panel connected to it. And it's not in the most ideal of conditions. And yet, even with the panel partially shaded now, I'm still getting 146 watts of charging. And earlier I was getting a full 200. If I were to align this panel and make it so that it's better aligned to the sun and not in the shade that's creeping up on it over here, then I would get 200 watts of solar as long as I get sun on that panel until that power station is fully charged. And it's not going to hurt the power station. It's going to work fine. So the key here, folks, is make sure the panels fall within the voltage range of your power station 
and don't be shy. Go ahead and over panel it. Now they do say typically you shouldn't go more than 25 to 50% depending on who you talk to. Manufacturers are gonna tell you probably not to do it. MPPT charge controller manufacturers tell me lower percentages like 10%, but I have done 100% which is what I'm doing right here. Instead of a 200 watt panel, I'm running 400 watts. And guess what, folks? It works like a charm. It's absolutely working well. So check it out. Find yourself a solar panel or get two and put them in parallel. Run more power to that power station than it can actually take. And you're going to charge it up much faster, folks. And there you have it. And I want to take a minute to thank my members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. I'll drop another video right over here for you to check out. Y'all have a great day. The old jar head out.